What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we are going to be talking about checkboxes in Angular template driven forms. Checkboxes, um, very similar to radio buttons, except for one important thing. And I like to illustrate things with stories. So in the previous video, we talked about a pool and whenever you are getting ready to jump off a diving board there's usually a lifeguard sitting up in a chair <laughs> I can't really draw a chair but this person is usually sitting up in a really high chair they are a lifeguard they are entrusted to make sure that you are not going to hurt yourself but when I was a kid there were different types, like there were some lifeguards who took their job very seriously, like the radio buttons. The radio buttons, the lifeguard at the radio button pool took their job very seriously. You could only choose one thing, you could not choose more than anything else, and you had to pick something. That was like another issue with, not issue, but that was another characteristic of radio buttons. You had to, you had to pick something. Checkboxes this lifeguard at the checkbox pool isn't really into their job they don't really care you can pick nothing you could pick multiple things you could pick everything it, literally anything goes with checkboxes the whole entire idea of a checkbox is that it's just a lot more lax you can click you can choose as many things as you want to and you can always this is a radio button you can always denote a radio button by the fact that it's a circle but a checkbox is a square, and once again, you can click everything with checkboxes. If you have five checkboxes, say this is another checkbox, you could have both of them um, checked, or you could have none of them checked. That's just kind of, the, that's the idea behind checkboxes, but what, not very complicated, as you can tell. So how do you spot a checkbox? Number one, it's the same thing as the radio button. Um, the type is equal to is going to be what sets the actual uh, what sets it in the GUI is what's actually going to create this box. The name and the value are going to dictate what is going to be sent back to the server. So uh, another really important thing to realize is that um, name is going to this right here is almost going to be JSON. In fact, a good way to think about this, if you want to, uh, this is kind of like another way that I like to think about it, is just imagine you took this away. And so just imagine you take, take this away and you just put a colon there. And then you take this away. And this is going to be right here, what is going to be sent back to the server. Like if you could just have like a snapshot of what's going to be sent back to the server, that is it right there. And that's pretty much checkboxes. Now let's go ahead and let's actually start coding a checkbox. And this is gonna be relatively easy. We will just go down here and let's go in and just create a nice little checkbox. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna have a label again. Probably don't need a label, but I'm gonna um, put a label there anyway. Type, so it's gonna be check box. And get out of that quote. And then we're gonna go here. And what we are going to do, a very real world use for a checkbox is going to be accepting terms. If you ever look at the bottom of a form or if you're ever registering like if you register for a gmail account it will make you click some type of terms or agreements where you're basically signing all your data rights away let's just be honest and that's the button that you click to do that and a good example once again is going to be um that checkbox that, that's a checkbox a lot of the times so could be a radio box but more more than likely it's going to be a checkbox so what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to make some terms that we're going to make the Pokemon user accept. And the way that we are going to wire this up is we're gonna use, let's use ng model. I think ng model will be a great uh, way to actually put this into the app. So I'm gonna go here 
And the bad thing is, is that number one, I got to close out this input. And number two, we don't even have, this doesn't exist within our actual app. So how are we, and this is a good uh, practice, or this is a good thing to know, like how, how do we add something to our form? And this is very, like I said, this is very real world. You will be asked to do this all the time, like add just one property to a form. So what's happening here is we, it doesn't exist yet in our model. So we need to go in and we need to create it. What I'm gonna do is, what did I call it? I just called it accept terms. And then I'm gonna go into here and I'm going to add it to my model. It's gonna be a Boolean. So that looks good. And I'm also gonna make this two way just in case they've already validated it. And I think that that will be a good use case, but you could do either one, either one that you want to. So that should be it. So let's go, I'm gonna go ahead and go, go in here and I'm gonna bring over this. So we got here. Let's see what we got here. I haven't labeled it, but we do have it in the accept terms is equal to true and our accept terms is equal to true in both our model and our UI. So we are ready to rock. Two-way binding is working very well, but the only thing that I need to do is I need to add something to let the user know that they're accepting terms. Please check to accept terms. Okay, and that's what it looks like. Looks pretty legit. Looks pretty legit. So you click that. Please check. You click it. You accept the terms. Accept terms is equal to true. That will send it back to the database, and that is how you make a uh, checkbox. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did. Make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.